solidifies and puts themselves back into the LCS. And they just poured out their heart and soul against an SHC that did the exact same thing. So after we lost to SK, we actually we wanted to stay all together. We make a judgment for Mr. Rales. We wanted to create a team for Coke League and try to win everything we can and then qualify for LCS. I think it's kind of like a stroke of luck really. They all split from me and I went back to my old team and then suddenly it's like, oh, we can qualify again. We get told like in three days we're going to play with NIP and MOM. We had such short time between everything. Oh my god, I know, we've done this before. It's, it's crazy, it's just like constant swing of emotions. It was all about that League of Legends Championship Series spot and the super hot crew are in. When we qualified for the LCS, um, there were a lot of people approaching us. Suddenly everyone cares for you who didn't give a yeah, damn about you before. Like we sat down together and we said this is the deals we can get and we need to find out who is the best for us. The team decided we should go with being our own brand. We didn't want to play under whatever tag, we wanted to keep our name. Basically my Simoner name for a long time in solo queue was Super Fire. We had to make a ranked team and I had to make it so I just found out this name and it stayed. We came in a super hot group and we thought, well, if other organizations have done it before, why can't we? So Miss Shy and others decided to band around other people who, who wanted to get involved. We did some research and when I found out he has a lot of experience in esports, I was approaching him. Super hot crew had like many possibilities to join other organizations, but I said, hey, esports is my passion. It's not about the money. I'm sure you can get more money and more sponsors from well-known teams, but if you make your own, then you've got independence. We knew it was going to be hard to be one of the top, top teams in LCS. The manager told us, you got three months in LCS, just enjoy your time and do your best. We know we, we're going to face hard days and we will go through them. And the only one who can ever decide if we should change something or not, that's us. Like no one else can interfere. You have so many possibilities to do your own stuff and you can especially focus on the needs of the players, not the organization. Like if we want to grow as a brand and get more fans, then it's up to everyone. Everyone works for one goal and this makes us become like much closer than before. I would say it's more friendly, familial than if you would join a random organization. I feel really more involved in our team and in our organization because it's ours. If you've got to start from the bottom, from the ashes or whatever, then yeah, you can build your own legacy, I guess. I personally trust our players and our team manager. When you are your own brand and when you've got no pressure from the organization, I think you are a better team actually. They've done it! There's a teleport into the inhibitor Mimers on the Nexus! Superhot crew beating the Wolves! You can look down at your shirt and look down at your sponsors and think we accomplished this.